Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple animated text like this in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to do this in a bit. But before that, remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. If you already subscribed, then thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. But remember to like, share this video with friends. Okay, so let's see how to create this. Many people don't know that it's possible to actually create an animated text in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you that this is basically possible. So I'm going to start everything from scratch. And then at the end of the day, we're going to create something similar to this. Okay. So without much ado, let's jump right into action and see how to create this. Okay. So in order to create this, I first need to actually close this because I'm going to start everything from scratch for you to see. Let me just close it. I'm not going to save it. I'm actually going to start everything from scratch for you to see. Okay. okay so in order to create this animated text what i've showed you all we need to do is to first create a background so i'll go to file and then go to new so when i come back to so i'm going to set my background in this case i'm going to select film and then video and then i'll select in this background of my choice i have hdtv over here and i have the size 1920 by 80 1080 and then i also have that's the keyframe and then that will give you the resolution of your video so i'm actually going to go with the hd tv the 1920 by 1080 and this resolution i'm going to put it around 100 for now i'm going to set the resolution around 100 and i'll i'll click on create okay so i'm going to have my background and then i need to have a background image for this particular animation in order to do that i'll pick it from my images you can pick any image at all so i'll just go and look for any image of my choice that i will have, have image here that i would want to use for my design so i'm actually going to right click and then open this with photoshop so i'll go open with and then i'll open this with photoshop so i want to use this so I want to use this image as my background for my animation. So I'm just going to double click on this and remove the lock. Then I'll drag it on top of my layer. Okay. So I'll just try to position this on top of my layer. Okay. If I'm okay with this, I'm not going to go ahead and then wrote, write my text. So I'll put my, I'll just pick my type tool and then just type any text at all of my choice. I want everything in caps. So I'll turn on my caps on and then I'll type worship with us okay and i'll use my move tool and then just position this on top of my design and then from my layer panel i just want to add some stroke to it so i'll double click on the layer from the layer panel and then it's going to open my layer style and then i'll go to stroke i give a white stroke around it and then i'll give it a shadow as well and then i think i'm okay with that when you are done with this, we are now going to start with our animation. In order to get the option to use our animation, we'll go to the windows over here and go to a timeline. We're going to enable this timeline. So in the timeline, it's going to give you option to create your animation. And we're going to have two options. We have the video animation, the frame animation. But we want to go with video animation. So I'll just click on this. And it's going to open my animation panel for me like this. Okay. So we are good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is to delete my main background because I don't really need it again. I'll just drag it and drop it in the bin over here. I need to go. So to go ahead, I'm going to right click on my text. This is my text. Worship with us. I'll right click and then convert it to what? Smart object. Okay. I'm going to convert this to smart object like this. So I just wait to confirm this. Okay, so when you convert the text to smart objects, just double click on that and it's going to open it in a different tab like this. So this is where we're going to actually do our animation. So from here, we move this again to what? Smart object. Okay, so we now have our text again in a smart object. So we're now going to add our keyframe. So within where we have our ob object, that's our text, that's worship with us just click and then what add a transform okay we're going to add transition to it that's a transform effect so just drag this let's move this to around two seconds and then we'll position this right there okay we're going to position this right there and then we'll move this back to the beginning and then drag this off our screen okay we're going to drag this off our screen because we want this to actually move from the right to the left 
and let's just try and move this to the middle somewhere let's try to move the, this to the middle somewhere and it's basically going to add another keyframe to that so we'll go back and then let's try playing this we'll click on this and you can see it's going to play our text all the way from what the the right to the left so when you play this it's going to play your text all the way from the left to what the right to the left so all you need to do now is to go to file and then click on save not save as just save and we'll go back to our main text okay this is our main design and let's try to play this and see it's actually going to admit this text from the left to what from the right to the left it's quite slow if you want to increase the speed then you have to do some few adjustments so we want to increase the speed go back to your text and just drag them closer okay let's drag these keyframes closer to each other and this is actually going to increase the speed for us so we first need to update this by saving and then we'll go back to our animation okay so let's start this animation again you can go back and then play this and it's going to be faster so you can see this time around it's moving what faster than expected okay so you can increase the animation by bringing the keyframes together so basically this is how to create a simple animation using photoshop let me know at the comment section if you have any suggestion or want some improvement i can even go ahead and add audio track if you decide to add audio track to this animation you can do that you can add several text to this and then animate them how you want it to be like so this is how to create a simple animation in photoshop with just some simple steps remember to like share and then also remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial till i come away